सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम दैट कैन बी सॉल्व इन एनी एफ पी एस सॉफ्टवेयर सो दिस वीडियो विल एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द कैपेबिलिटीज ऑफ एफ पी एस सॉफ्टवेयर दैट वट टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम वी कैन सॉल्व इन एनी एफ पी ए प्रॉब्लम वन ऑफ द सिंपलेस्ट टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम दैट इज वी कैन सॉल्व इज द लीनियर स्टेटिक एनालिसिस वेन द एफ पी ए टेक्निक वॉज डेवलप्ड फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ एनालिसिस दैट वॉज परफॉर्म वॉज लीनियर स्टेटिक एनालिसिस in the continuation to linear static we have which is little more complicated than linear static analysis then we have dynamic analysis and buckling analysis after that we have thermal analysis in which we perform the heat transfer analysis similarly we have fatigue analysis fatigue is very important type of analysis it is also called the durability analysis design optimization so after performing the analysis we need to optimize the geometry that is also done in different fpa softwares and then we have cfd analysis cfd analysis is basically called computational fluid dynamics whenever we want to perform analysis of any fluid flowing we perform it using the cfd module and then we have crash analysis so crash analysis can be performed for any automotive vehicle and also the crashing of mobile phone etc and then we have nvh analysis that is called noise vibration and harness analysis so now let's learn about all these types of analysis one by one so first one is called linear static analysis so in linear static analysis two terms are very important first one is linear and second one is static so we have linear and then static so in case of linear when we draw a stress strain curve you can see up to certain point the curve is linear so in linear static we only assume up to this point and static means anything that does not change with time so in static analysis the force does not change with time that is we call the force is static it means there is no variation with respect to time or we can call it a dead weight after that we have nonlinear analysis in case of nonlinear analysis we have three types of nonlinearities first one is geometric nonlinearity second is material nonlinearity third one is contact nonlinearity geometric nonlinearity arises due to large deformations material nonlinearity arises when we consider the complete stress strain curve after the linear zone or we can say elastic zone similarly whenever we have contact between two bodies or multiple bodies or whenever we have gap between bodies it is called contact type of nonlinearities we can also divide this material nonlinearity in further we will cover it later in the course next we have dynamic analysis in case of dynamic analysis the force or any other parameters change with respect to position velocity and time for example vibration in any mechanical system impact analysis drop analysis we perform the crash analysis all these are different types of dynamic analysis so dynamic analysis can be performed on two principles first one is called free excitation second one is called forced excitation in this we calculate the natural frequency of the body and in case of forced excitation we have any external force acting on the body so in this types of analysis we have multiple types of domain first one is frequency response then transient response and random response again in further we have multiple types of analysis so frequency response is considered for rotating machinery unbalanced tires helicopter blades transient analysis is for road excitation similarly we perform the psd or power spectral density analysis after that we have linear buckling analysis so in case of buckling for example you can consider we have a rod like this and we apply a vertical downward force so instead of breaking it will buckle like this 
so this is called buckling analysis so in case of buckling analysis we apply a compressive load and it is a slender body slender means length of the body is very large as compared to other dimensions after that we have thermal analysis thermal is basically a type of heat transfer analysis so in heat transfer analysis we know we have three types of heat transfer first one is conduction convection and then radiation again in conduction we have steady state unsteady state similarly in convection we have natural and forced convection in radiation we have specular and diffuse and again we have 1d 2d 3d etc after that we have fatigue analysis so fatigue analysis is useful where we have progressive load or localized structural damage it means whenever in any body we have cyclic loading for example engine of a car so engine is continuously running due to the cyclic loading there will be some structural damage or we can say cracks can be created due to this cracks the geometry can fail in fatigue analysis we used to calculate the safety stresses for and for fatigue analysis we have two techniques that is stress life and then en strain life approach after that we have design optimization so once we perform the analysis we need to optimize the design optimize means we need to reduce the cost we need to reduce material and if the geometry is failing we need to provide some extra support and ribs inside the body then we have computational fluid analysis so whenever we have any fluid working we have cfd analysis so again it is divided in statics and dynamics so static means we consider fluid at rest and in dynamics we consider fluid in motion for example in this case we have dam design here we have aerospace automobile marine valves etc next we have crash analysis now a days performing the crash analysis is very very important so we have multiple types of crash analysis first one is structural worthiness that is called that is performed for the safety of the passenger for example we have frontal frontal side rear impact roof crush etc car hitting a pole then we have drop test drop test is for example anything is dropping like an black box of aircraft mobile phone consumer goods such as tv fridge etc and then we have occupant safety so we have different types of standard we will perform the analysis to find the rider safety and in automotives and also in aerospace one more type of analysis that is perform is called nvh analysis that is called noise vibration and harshness analysis so in this type of analysis we predict the sound level so we perform the analysis using the natural frequency and we need to make sure the overall sound of the vehicle should be under a limit or we can say it should be vibrating at a certain distance so here we have sound radiation and then coupled and vibro acoustic problems so these are some of the different types of analysis that we can perform in any fe software